This is kind of the next project. This is a 1974 Packard Bell 98C39 chassis. It was made right here in Los Angeles. And this was one of about four of these I brought back from a Packard Bell distributor that we cleaned out in South Carolina. So it's traveled across the country. This is a 900 Packard Bell Telemagic 900 series. It's got this flip down door. And it's got this button here which basically doesn't work too well. Uh, the button overrides the main adjustments there of substituting the little screws that you see. And this is a Teledyne Packard Bell. This is after Teledyne had bought them out and this was pretty much the last year for Packard Bell sets. And the quality really started to go downhill at this point. And they call they call this a multi-state set, which is really a fancy euphemism for hybrid. in here. And the uh, entire IF is all solid state. In fact, I believe there's one IC back there for the sound processing. The sound output is right there on that heat sink. solid state and we have a few tubes here we have a video output and we have the RGB output triode right there and then we have the 6FQ7 in the back which is the horizontal oscillator and we have the 6GF7 right there which is the vertical multi-vibrator and then the 6JE6 horizontal output and the damper. Take a look, here's the flyback. Back here is the regulator. This is when the set started to become a mixture of America and Japanese parts. It's a lot like RCA. There's a lot of uh, licensing here and RCA circuits. Two tubes in the tuner. On the cheap side, but nicely made, easy to work on. All you have to do is pull this screw out, that screw out right there, and the chassis slides out and completely unplugs very easy to work on. Not a great picture, not great color. It did initially have a few bad parts which are right there, the capacitor from the convergence assembly and the color killer electrolytic there and that little FET was bad. Uh, the FETs are used as in the color demodulation and one cool thing is all these, I don't know if the camera has the resolution, but all the transistors are in these little sockets. I don't know if you can see that here. So they literally just pull right out. Even that IC there, which is a color chroma oscillator, is in a socket. So anyway, that's a 1974 Packard Bell. 
900 series 98 C 39 and most all of the Packard Bell chassis start out with 98 C something If you ever come across a Packard Bell, if this chassis sticker is missing, there's usually a chassis sticker over, which would be right here below the high voltage cage.